so this is the collective energy right now and what we as a collective which is the human race um, what we are experiencing at the moment so I wanted to pick up on first of all this I wanted a main energy here um, the one in the middle here eight of cups is pretty much having spilled emotions um, right now we're dealing with a lot of emotions that of people places and situations things of the past that really have not worked out for us and then here on the left it's clarified we clarified it with two cards here one is the seven of Pentacles here looking at what we've invested and what has come out of a situation We've invested all of these pentacles here and we have not reaped as big of a harvest as we thought we would in these situations. And so now it's causing us to take a closer look at things, um, to weigh what works and what doesn't work after investing in a situation and the outcome or fulfillment that we expected did not come through for us so now it's also clarified by the four of pentacles which this card when i see it it reminds me of holding back your resources which is pretty much pulling back in a situation holding on tightly to what you have in order to preserve what you have left protecting what's been given to you so the way i see it is to clarify everything all together is that after a disappointing situation we're looking at what we've invested in that we didn't get enough out of it and so now we're having to weigh everything that we've done versus everything that has you know developed and we're having to regroup and we're having to hold back our energy from people, places, and situations in order to preserve what we have left in order to move on um, to bigger and better situations. So then the overall situation here with the devil and the juggling, um, the devil is basically just toxic behavior. It's pretty much, you know, the ego dealing with people, places, situations that are toxic, not good for us. It could be us simply, you know, dealing with our own pride and lying to ourselves about situations, not being honest. And the two of pentacles at the top is juggling the fact that we have not been honest with ourselves and we've been dealing with toxic people places situations pretty much because we don't want to face the truth it causes us to juggle um to juggle our finances it causes us to juggle our resources because you know we're really not heading in the right direction if we can't be honest with ourselves about the things that we're dealing with so and sometimes the things that we're dealing with cause us to be heartbroken cause us to forces us to have to take a new direction which is pretty much the position that we're in right now um so that's where all these cards come in it's telling a story of what we've been dealing with here and so right here, this is the Six of Pentacles is bringing balance to a situation. And the way to bring balance is to leave a person, a place, or a situation out in the cold, which is pretty much having to walk away, um, even though you don't want to walk away. And it can cause some hurt feelings or, you know, um, basically both parties feel left out in the cold, but 
because there's nothing you can do to change the situation. Um, what's meant for you is meant for you. What's not meant for you, it's not going to work whether you want it to or not because it's not in your hands. So right here, there's a death in the situation, um, a death to an old chapter in our lives. And it's clarified by this Ace of Cups, which is pretty much spilled emotions. Um, the cup, This cup in the upright is having a cup full of emotions. And the death in the situation is having to pour out your emotions in a situation that did not work. You can no longer invest emotionally in the situation. You have no choice but to dump your cup out. It's not your choice, um, but you have to let it go. Um, and then here, we've been living under illusions. There's been all these cups full of um, illusions, not knowing what cup to pick, not knowing what direction to take in the situation. And this is right here, the sun in the reverse, which is clarified by um, when you have this sun in the upright, this to me is God's approval. This is God shining his light in the situation. Okay. But when I believe when it's, and this is right here, this baby here and the white horse symbol uh, it symbolizes purity and it symbolizes the baby is a birth of a new project it's the be very beginning stages of something that you've invested in that came to fruition and the fact that you know when and also this is god's approval you know when the sun is shining you know you're getting god's approval and when it's in the reverse it's god saying you know look i'm sorry but I'm not shining my light on the situation. I'm holding back in the situation. I'm not approving of a situation. So, and if you see this man standing in the dark, you know, it's like you can sit there and wait on God's approval or for God to open a door. But if he doesn't want to open that door, it's not going to open. So right here, the door did not become open. Water? Okay. And then... Here, the last couple cards are, right now we're gaining healing, right now balancing our emotions from a cycle that was left incomplete. One second, I'm coming, babe. And basically, this is a complete cycle. When something came to fruition and everything became 100%, the fact that the cycle did not wrap up, it didn't come to a completion. So we're having to gain healing right now because of that, because of something we poured and invested so much into, but it didn't come to fruition. So now we're having to gain healing from a cycle that never completed. And then here, the very end, which is the, you know, the conclusion to our story is we're moving on. The chariot is moving on from our ten of cups being in the reverse we're moving on from unfulfillment a lack of happiness and we're moving on from people places situations a world that we set up for ourselves that we thought was going to be our ten of cups we thought what we were investing in was what we needed and wanted but it wasn't what god wanted for us so it ended up being a Ten of Cups in the reverse. So we're moving on from our Ten of Cups in the reverse in order to find our true fulfillment, which is the true path that God has called us to.